What's up, Cyberspace Cadets? It's Irate right, Prostate here. It's uh, Thursday. You know what that means. It's time for Hot Takes with Butter Baron. My Butter Baron friend, how are you doing today? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. All right. And uh, so, uh, yeah, we just uh, finished this, uh, this series on Netflix. <laughs> Dude, another life. Okay, and um, we're going to do this real quick. We're going to go through everybody that was in it or uh, that I featured last week. <laughs> I, I did get some new slides, though. I, I, I actually did. So there's, there's, you have new information, people. So it's, we've been talking about it a while. Mm-hmm. All right, and it's Katie Sackoff is uh, the main character in this uh, show. Her name is, uh, what is her name? Uh, Kira? Holy shit. Um, oh, that's horrible. It, it's, yeah, this is good. exactly. I mean, because that's exactly who she's fucking playing in this, man. I mean, it's like it's not a leap at all to say that uh, that Katie Sackhoff is a a method actor. <laughs> that that's her method. <laughs> um, all right, and then uh, another person that's in this. Oh, go ahead. That was that's an interesting that's a decent that's a good movie man, um, Karen Gillan yeah and uh, yeah and she plays a great evil mother, um, or evil stepmother I don't know if, I can't remember but it, it was it's a good movie I liked it too, um, it's got this chick in it uh, named Blue Hunt, who is a absolute uh, whore and slut in this thing, uh, but we're gonna get into that in a minute. Uh, she plays the. She plays the horny, the horny Mary Sue, okay, who gets double donged and uh, et cetera. Um, A.J. Rivera, uh, who uh, ends up being gay in this character. Um, it's, uh, you know, see people of size getting represented. And, and, and exactly. So, and, and to see a bear represented like this is just a, it, it's, a, um, it's a leap. Fuck. Check one, two. Can y'all hear that now? Check one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. You sexy beast. One, two, four, five. That's it. All right. Fitty, 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 yeah. fitty, three, fitty, four, fitty, six, fitty. What in the fuck? 19, fitty. The gay bear. The gay bear. We're down. Yeah, so, the, yeah, this guy's the, 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 the bear, like you said. Um, and he's he well represented. Uh, it's, it's really cool. He has I'm the. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that gay bears are now getting representation because they always used to just have the twinks, you know. Yeah, exactly, man. So at least yeah. they're getting their their scope is broadening into the uh, in, into the uh, into the types of yeah. people out there, you know. Uh, uh-huh. I want to welcome exactly. Anthony Koshal to my uh, to my subscription count. You're awesome. Uh, stay, uh, stay, stay close, and you will see marvelous and amazing things. Just say we will show you the wonders of the universe. The universe. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Abel, uh, this dude uh, plays a, uh, a politician's kid who uh, gets possessed by these aliens and shit. Um, uh, you know, I think this guy's probably a talented actor, but he really, really overdoes it in a couple of places. Kind of, kind of Nicholas Cage's it here, I think. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I was getting a very Nicholas Cage vibe from him. Yeah. Um, even the way that he talks is kind of Nicholas Cage. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. What, that's exactly came to mind. This guy, Alex uh, Ozerov, Yeah. Uh, he plays. Uh, one of the characters in there. <laughs> I can't remember any of their fucking names. Holy shit. And I don't have my paper in front of me. I usually print something out. Well, that's, <laughs> I mean, look, nobody cares about their names. The whole, the whole idea when you're watching this is that you can tell which one they are by basically what color or sex or 
Who yeah. would they have sex with? Well, like, uh, uh, like this dude looks like a sexy memory holiday, right? Um, the uh, the Jr. J- Jr. Yeah, his, his name, yeah, his name is Jr. Jr. or Jr. Yeah. Tin, tin, Tinaka. So you'll you'll know which one we're talking about because we'll just say the doctor, or uh, it's gonna be. That is not an accurate photo. Okay, that's an accurate photo. There we go. It yeah. switched over to an accurate photo. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, you know, just a little bit ahead. I apologize, man. Yeah, that so that that photo um, is pretty accurate as to what the character looks like throughout the entire series. Yeah, very androgynous character. Yeah, very. I very, very, le- go ahead. I legitimately <laughs> just refer to that person as the doctor the entire time. Yeah. He's pretty much like a yeah, the the, the gay doctor, kind of like on Discovery, which is yeah, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, we're moving on from uh, Jr. Jr. Uh, Tanako to uh, Lena Rena, uh, the little kid uh, that uh, plays uh, the little kid, and uh, she gets uh, her exposure to the aliens, gives her uh, leukemia. So there's 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 this. This one story that's happening on Earth, it's like these aliens come and they build this fucking beacon and shit, right? And Uh um, uh, they 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 they, um, build a beacon, and um, and so the immediate reflex is after six months of not talking to these beings, uh, we decide to send a faster than light ship out to where we think could possibly be the origin of their. Of their uh, <laughs> of their spacecraft, right? The the flying the flying yeah. uh, the flying Mobius strip. Um, this is hurting my head just trying to remember all this shit. Um, and then Selma Blair, of course, she plays this uh, this kind of like she a, plays Selma Blair. She plays La- Lauren Southern. Or, or somebody like her. I don't know. It's kind of like no. A, she's not playing Lauren Southern. She's kind of like a, well, I mean, like a news type. You know, she's she's like we got we got Stone Monkey in the chat too. And Arm Skill. Wait, Arm Skill is, is this? Is it Arms Killer or V2. is it Arm Skiller? <laughs> but uh, V two. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we also have that person in the chat as well. Cool. Um. So yeah, what do y'all? Did, did, who? Did, if you've seen it, uh, hit the exclamation point, and 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 share that with us so we can uh, so we can gear our conversation to you. We're gonna go to the next room, y'all, and uh, and just let the uh, slides from the show. Uh, really, there's a there's a lot of images from the last episode, um, which was uh, strange. That at the beginning, they have reached the planet. Uh, that they think is uh, the, the source of, of the uh, Mobius strip that turns into a giant crystal phallus on the Earth, <laughs> and they find yeah, the, they the, find the, they, the, go ahead the cancer crystal dick. <laughs> That's uh, it's just one giant metaphor for a meth rock. That's all it is. <laughs> what up? We got Goat Man in the chat and prostitutes. Goat Man, you have blessed us. My God, thank you, sir. You've brought us to double digits. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, you know. For those about to run. Not, not everyone wants to hear about our cancer uh, cancer crystal dick that reaches into the sky and is from another universe. <laughs> That's right. And, and it's a Made big, from a Mo- Mobius strip. Exactly. Um, and so the, the planet that they're on is inhabited by these, like, bat things. And uh, for some reason, they can interface immediately with an alien uh, technology. <laughs> and that, that's the last uh, episode. Um, you, it's back uh, up, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah, hold up. Okay, so there's these last couple of episodes, they A, are not super tied to each other very well. Uh, you know, like... The continuity, going from one episode to the next episode, you might only... What's the song in the background? Um, you might only... I can't listen to that. Uh, anyway, um, you, might, you might only see like part of the story 
Uh, that's the main story in in episode six. But then all there's all this like weird side stuff, and it kind you kind of get a little bit lost in uh, all the weird sideness that's going on. For instance, like by episode nine, I want to say they had um, the two guys and the girl that did the threesome. Yeah, <laughs> she gets. Uh, she gets pregnant. She gets pregnant, man. <laughs> but after they had been radiated and sterilized. So I like well, I'm a little confused here. Because yeah, that's well, not how radiation you know works. There's like no chance. All right. When my sister was pregnant yeah. with her first baby, she could smell uh, she could smell the weirdest shit. And then when she was pregnant with her second baby, she could smell and hear. Like I mean like a dog. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so, so the scent thing, I was like, I immediately said, oh, okay, I guess she's pregnant now. And then it's like, holy shit, they were exposed to to gamma radiation in like the third or fourth episode. So they yeah, were, they were they made, don't, yeah, exactly. They were made fucking they're sterile. sterile. All, but like, not just her being sterile, but like both the men are sterile too. Exactly. They're shooting so, blanks. I mean, they should have been able to, you know, and uh, and then she's they say something. She I think she references something about something like that, because she said that that they weren't, you know, she wasn't going to need to use protection after they made it on their way back. And that didn't make any sense. Well, yeah, but but they're sterile, bro. That's you. OK, if you've been hit by a lot of radiation, there's no going back. I'm sorry. Right. There's the it's done you're you're not able to reproduce you are sterile and uh and if you're exposed I to just, enough you start fucking falling apart exactly and, and i just was like yeah what the fuck yeah is this, this how is, did and then on top of it they had like an abortion conversation it was like well you know it is ultimately <laughs> your choice because it's your body. Yeah, but like, the way I you did... asked her was so cringy. You said, well, if you want it your was. periods to come back. <laughs> it, like, what is, why is everyone being sensitive about this? What the you fuck? Got, it's supposed this is to be the, the future. future. Exactly. Yeah. Like, isn't there just some pill you can take and shit that thing out next week? Can like, beat the baby out of her, man. You know, it's like, right. Shit, you know? It's not really that big of a deal at right. this point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the whole being sterile thing, when he gets sad in episode three uh, because they're sterile and he didn't save his sperm, I'm like, but, like, even today we can make a sperm out of, like, bone marrow. You don't, I'm confused here, you don't really need the actual sperm to make a baby. They can still use your DNA. Mm. So, this is supposed to be like 2046. Or something <laughs> right? like that, right? Yeah, about that. Um, uh, I don't even know where to start on this, because there are so many things that I'm just Well, like, all right, and then there's the subplot what? with the AI, okay? And the AI falling in love with what's her name and what's her name yes. kind of jacking off with the AI and then the AI she tells it to like purge his memory and then suddenly the AI gets fucking hijacked by the politician's kid um, who's like a, his name is Sasha but he's a Chad if you know what I'm saying. The, the Nicolas we, Cage dude, right? We, we uh we um, have a couple of questions in the chat. Okay. Uh, so if this is Goat Man, uh, so if I stick my dick in a nuclear reactor, uh, I can fuck any woman without knocking them up. Well, I'm gonna say you're gonna knock them up, but it's gonna be with a little thing called cancer. They're just gonna get this big cancer right there. A lot of cancer, and just that's the... provided you don't you don't melt immediately. By the way, watch Chernobyl. <laughs> if, if you have a good x-ray technician, you know, that, that knows their shit, you could probably get them to sterilize you. I'm being honest. I, I think that's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> you know? You come here, man. I'll, 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 you don't need to get snipped. Um, Watch this shit. The other question uh, from, I'm going with Arms Killer. 
Uh, how did they survive the gamma radiation anyway? Uh, that's a good question. That they, was a very good question. They were the, the gamma radiation was supposed to purge, like um, what was it? It purged out them the, the alien, the, the nerve virus that was yeah. boron based in life. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay. It, see, the science is horrible in this. I mean, that's what I like so much about the Expanse is that the, everything in the Expanse. Is, is so well done and the science is good. Fucking the original, uh, the, the reboot of Battlestar, man, that was fucking fantastic. You know? Um, yeah. And, and, I mean, th and this could have been, you know, like the fucking, the effects were horrible, that bat thing. What did you think about that? That was, I, it was pretty bad. It, I mean, <laughs> there's no other way to say it. Holy shit. Uh, most most of this series has uh it looked like somebody the way, yanked it off a deviant art yeah kind of you know? uh, it's i want to know what the budget is for this fucking netflix won't tell you their goddamn budgets cuz i feel like the budget for this was something like 500,000 they're blowing a monster <laughs> they're blowing a monster load on this thing i guarantee you and like the, yeah. the actors I mean, because all these actors are pretty much, you know, have been known from other things. Um, it's, uh, so, ah, man. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean. I don't yeah. know, man. <laughs> bat, space bats. Space yes, bats. goat man. Yes. Space bats. Yes. And if you watch uh, the Queen and... stream Friday night, you'll see a bat swim. Okay. You'll, you'll well, know you that go. a bat can swim. Sorry, Brian. Oh no no no! It's fine. <laughs> Why? Um, <laughs> no. Oh, that's that's this. Uh, I guess the perfect energy for a show like this. <laughs> um, which is why it's the greatest show on earth, and you need to watch it. And I recommend that everyone watch this show uh, because the fun of this show is not that uh, it's terrible. It's it's so bad that it's actually good. Yeah, it is on. It's it like, is on a level. Yeah, go ahead. it's like it's like looking at a car wreck, man. You just can't you can't not look at it, you know. And, and once it starts unfolding, it looks like okay, all right, this is kind of <laughs> cool. This looks good. It's 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 like okay, I'm seeing the beginnings of of some really cool like story arc ideas, and then it like it, then it like does some like acid, and it's like everywhere. You know, it, yeah. it, 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 goes, it becomes three-dimensional. We go from a straight line into a fucking full-ass globe like that. <laughs> story -wise. Yeah, it's just, what even the fuck? <laughs> so, uh, you, you know, well, let's let's start with the, the I'm just going to reveal the, the trope of what the alien is. The alien that lands on Earth. Uh, oh, actually, you know, I'm I'm gonna reveal that later. I'm gonna keep this for last yeah. because uh, I I do know I I actually just remembered something else about the series that was just fucking ridiculous. The Akai. Um. Uh, no, 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 not not there yet. Um. So the main scientist working on this uh, gets it to open up, and they send in the influencer, I guess. <laughs> right. On a top secret mission that is supposed to be like a crazy security clearance. Obviously, you've got aliens. You've got it's it's like uh, you know the highest security clearance members only. But they just let this influencer go with them into the space. It's like yeah, let right? Perez Hilton go in. You know, it's like what the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or um, I. Uh, <laughs> That's the For those of us that are from the older generation, uh, who was that MySpace woman? Um, she looks like an alien. Uh, <laughs> There's so many. And of she those has now, a man. she has a CD. God, what oh, was her wow. name? Asian woman. <laughs> oh, I thought you were thinking of uh, Jessica Simpson or somebody like that. 
Well, we can get the Jessica Simpson is interchangeable. So yeah, we'll go ahead. It's like if you let Jessica Simpson in there, but she had a microphone and a camera, and I, it's just. <laughs> what the fuck are you even doing? It's cringy as fuck, man. It's, it's like, what? Um, Whoa. Well, so it turns out when they enter the ship, it gives off a massive amount of radiation that only somehow gets targeted at the main science officer's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, who Tila Tequila, that's right. Right, who happens to be married to the, the captain of the starship that's going out to meet the species. So uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so here, Thanks, so animal. right off the bat, we have this superior technology that somehow fires off a targeted radiation strike against a little girl, and they go with the uh, "it was an accident, bro" excuse. Mm. Like, <laughs> uh, what? N- no, you. You're, you have a crystal dick tower in our front yard. Oh <laughs> shit, that was an accident. <laughs> Fuck off. Like, what is this? What is this, man? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Melissa. I just, I, just fucking, whoever wrote this, props to them. I, I imagine that they got paid in advance and yeah. took like what? six hits of acid. That's what I was gonna say. There, there was so weed. much, so much drug reference in this. <laughs> they like, like probably took a couple hits of MDMA on that shit too, you know. Maybe you know, I don't know. I, they could have been on that. bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> I can only afford bath salts, man. Wow. <laughs> and then, the, and then there's the the uh, the AI at the end. Who has... Uh, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Tell him about that. You're my yeah. mother. It's like, okay, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. That's the... Uh, hold on. There's two AIs, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. See, the first AI makes the second AI an avatar that looks like the captain because he's in love with her, right? And then he decides to give her, I guess, his spark of life, and she becomes real. And so she's kind of like the captain, and the captain's on the planet, Right. Can, so, can, I, can I just stop you right there, though? Because <laughs> I, I want to put some gravity to what you're saying, <clears throat> which is that <clears throat> the AI fell in love with the main character, Nico. That's right. That's what's her name Nico. Thank you. Nico, yeah. Like, a uh, literally unmemorable name. But, uh, so the AI falls in love with Nico, the main character, and... Then throws a little hissy fit and tries to create another Nico. Mm-hmm. But in doing so, like Irate said, he put a flash of intelligence into this thing that was supposed to make her more real than before. Yeah, she was they supposed to be like a fuck how. doll. It was she was really yeah. functioning like a fuck doll and like uh and to help, you know, multitask on shit, right? But yeah. they don't they don't explain any of this. All the all right. the AI does is take his 3D model, put it on the head of the other 3D model that he has made, and you see the eyes glow a different color. Right. That's it. Yeah. That's how they did it. Yeah. <laughs> it's real deep, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is God. And, and so yeah. uh, and then and then he tells her to uh, destroy, you know, delete your files, blah blah blah, and she's like, "No." Uh-uh. And then, and then Delete she turns, this. and then no. she turns into this young chick, and she t- calls the AI her her mother, right? But he's male, I think. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, and, I don't and, know and so she's was. wandering the ship <laughs> like a fucking ghost, and and we don't know what the where she went or whatever, right? Um, uh huh. They're, they're too busy, on, you know, going home. Loose end um, number one. <laughs> <laughs> I need more than living pledge. Absolutely. Anyway. I mean, they're so... The the loose ends are just amazing. Uh, Uh, You know, and it's like, okay, so what do you think the chances are... and, And we'll come back to the story, but it's like, all right, let's talk about 
from a practicality standpoint, what do you, do you see a, a season two coming out of this? Oh yeah, with Netflix, you think they're all in on this shit? Oh, I I, I think that there's already been filmed a season two. Well, you know that there, there's they were really subtle at to a point with the with the moral fagging shit and and some of the woke stuff, right? You think you think the androgynous doctor was subtle, <laughs> and the threesome between a guy who's a virgin on VR and well, you know, it's, like a it's, hooker and a Chad. It's, like, it's, what it's, is it's, this? It's, it's funny, Bart, right, because Uzi and I have this thing, right? We've <laughs> we've noticed in our years together that, uh, especially on HBO shows, there's one episode in every season of like True Blood or even The Fucking Wire where everybody gets laid. Everybody is just getting the fuck fucked out of them, and um, yeah, and good... and, it, and it happens in this in this one too. <laughs> you know, I look at each other and goes, "Okay, this is the sex episode, right?" And no tits, uh-huh. no tits. She she takes it from both guys with her bra on, right, and, and nothing else, which is dumb. That's dumb. I like tits. I want to see tits. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm a there man. There should have been tits in this. I have I testicles. Agree. I want to see tits. I'm, you know? But at least give me that. I mean, tits would have made this 10,000 times better. Oh, yeah. It would get it over five. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> it would push it past that envelope. You're um, just biased, irate. Dude, well, you know, biased. man, I swear. How dare I, you? I hate Needing being science let down. to make sense. I hate it when, like, you know, it's like, okay, um, there's, like, this expectation, uh, there's this fanfare, and and then, you know, when it comes down to it, it's like, it's a big, it's a letdown, it's a disappointment in a way, and in a way, it's funny, right? There's there's this, this comical aspect to this whole deal, because the story, if you think about it, is fucking stupid. It, it, from the get go, from from right, the aliens land on our planet, and we just let them grow a fucking you know giant crystal dick, um, right? A, a crack pipe or whatever the fuck you want to call it, man. How is this not quarantined and domed off already? <laughs> no and shit. like and nuclear, what the nuke, fuck? We would have bombed that shit, man. <laughs> I, I know this planet. This is like, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> If we can't if we can't appropriate it, we're gonna fucking blow it the fuck up. That's how that's how that's how wet arms races are won. You know I'm right. Well, I mean, man, squatch. Greetings, Bill Coleman. <laughs> this show got a little bit better, but there was so much stupidity. Man, squatch. If you saw this. T- let us know, and I'll shoot you a link on my server. You can hang out with us and talk. We we do accept phone calls on this thing. So if you've seen this, absolutely, and, and you want to talk, man, this is the time to do it. I friendly. <laughs> they couldn't afford the extras. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, like a story, <laughs> like a script that Yikes. makes sense, or or a, con- <laughs> or a continuity person. That's what yeah. You know what? It's going to come out that every one of the actors on this show actually wrote one chapter of the script each, and they just put it all together and said, hey, we got a show. <laughs> or, or maybe they just clipped, like, sentences, right, and mixed them all up and then laid them out. Um, yeah, they're like, uh, they're like, guys, here's a scenario you're going to improv. Basically, aliens land a crystal dick on the planet, and then you got to go in a spaceship <laughs> to go find those aliens. Uh, that's, that's that's what they did, and they're like ad lib it, and you know if that's if that was the truth, then I would say this was a great show. Because <laughs> right. some of this shit, like, yeah, how, why, keep, keep what, talking. What, are, what, 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 what are they even doing? What are they? Anyway, doing? um, so they find an AI. By the way, different AI. Than the other two AIs. Uh, this is about episode nine, and this AI studies them based off the radio waves that they've been getting from Earth since the 1960s. And I was like trying to do some math here because they are like 
what, 70 light years away or something, right? Right, right. And I was like, but wait a second, radio waves, radio waves don't travel faster than light, do they? No, they don't. So, wait a sec, wait a second, <laughs> wait a second, <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that once again, you know, the, the science don't, the, you know, the, the, I mean, fuck, man, you'd think they would hire at least one person that knew just a little bit about the physics of space. There was some neat fucking uh, dark matter shit. Man, you know, in reality, we would have dropped probes in that fucking thing. In, in the dark yeah, matter. Yeah, you wouldn't fly? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. There's so much ridiculous shit. Uh, exactly. I forgot about the, the fucking... How many things get you high in space? <laughs> what is that? No shit. <laughs> the good drugs are out there, nigger. Let's go. Jesus, hard arm, bro. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I got a little caught up there. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Woo lad. <laughs> um, but, I'm uh, purple, dude. <laughs> I'm in there. Yeah, but man, but, squad, um, yeah. Okay, he's in our green room. Man, squad's going to join oh, yeah. us. All right, ready? Hmm. Hello. Hey, man, Squatch. What's up? What up, fam? Yeah, thanks for the invite, man. I've been wondering about this show for a long time. Well, I've only been watching it for a week, but damn, they made a lot of stupid... Yeah? How'd you feel about the uh, the the dark matter? Them going into it and, and, and whatnot? Well, I mean, it was a nifty little plot device. It's like, we're going to go to this star that astronomers have been looking at for 5,000 years. Oh, shit, it's not actually there. Um, well, let's kind of go around. No, let's go inside after the I'm sorry, not the coup, the uh, mutiny. Yeah, but um, later on in the series, don't they go back through it? Exactly, yeah. They, they The first, what was it, episode two, where they, it's like, we're going to put the cap, where they're going to put uh, Captain Starbuck in the freezer so they can go around. And it's like, well, oh, shit, this didn't work like everyone knew it, wouldn't it? So they let Captain Starbuck <laughs> out of the freezer. It was yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And then that guy that looks like uh, Middle Eastern Nigel Thornberry got thrown into electricity, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't believe you executed that guy who... Wait, no, that was a complete accident. It's like, yeah. no, I executed him. I, I totally planned for that thing to be broken right then and there when he decided to be a... Yeah, what was that fucker's name? Yeah. It was like Xerxes or some shit like that? Weird yeah, names. I don't, I don't the, know. The names were just like bizarre. Like the, the like the androgynous dude's name was Zane, but it's like a really weird way to spell it, like Z-A-Y-N-E or something, you know? I don't know. I can't remember mm -hmm. exactly the spelling, but I knew it looked off. Anyway, it's just weird well, names for everybody. After I, I watched the first episode, and I watched your first video on this, and I was the big drama of the first episode is they need to do a slingshot around Sirius. Mm -hmm. They never ever say why. There's no reason for them no. to do a slingshot around it. They've got an FTL drive, so they obviously can just point and shoot their ship to the appropriate like course around the dark matter. But no, no, they have to make this slingshot for because it's right here on the script and because Sirius is a big ass star we need to get really close to it because it's uh, right here on the script and then we're going to use the shield that we're going to just pull out of our ass because well we use a shield for FTL which makes sense and we, no one ever 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 thought about using that as navigation deflectors until now because the cast of Dawson's Creek on this ship is <laughs> the best that we have around <laughs> yeah yeah no they shit, said man. their best it's like it's this is okay Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, there's a show that's on the CW called The 100, which is kind of like... Oh, yeah! Man, which is not that bad <laughs> to, compared to this. It's the 100, fucking, yeah. Yeah, it's fucking... Uh, it's, 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 it's art compared to this. But, but you know... Oh, don't get me started I, on The 100. Yeah. It, now, it, I'll, it's, I'll it's, admit, I, I watch it, but there's drama... Well, I stopped watching the last season, but the drama on The 100 is basically like, we finally made peace. Oh wow! Somebody insulted somebody. Two C-list characters. Let's go back to <laughs> yeah, just like much. YouTube. <laughs> uh, 
But uh, uh, back back to the um, second time they go through the dark matter, right? Why the first time it like it, it didn't get them high? Is it wait? Did they not go through the dark matter? Because I thought no, they were no, shit no, remember fucked up the, and went through it the first right, time. Remember the uh, the dude with the thing in his head? Um, you know, made them the salad with the fucking dope in it. Right, and so when they were in the dark matter at first, it has it had some kind of effect on the people to begin with, but then it, then the drugs kicked in. It right? was enhanced. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I sorry, I blinked that out because that was the well, dumbest you, part of the plot. It's, it's like, all over the fucking place. Uzi said, "God damn, they've got AD with shit." Well, yeah, you know, I mean, the fear and loathing and lost serious. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, pretty much. My, this is, uh, <laughs> exactly. This is uh. What was the name of that virus that they couldn't identify? It was made out of like borons or something. Mm, I don't know. The one yeah. that ripped your nerves out. Yeah, <laughs> you made your fucking spine jump out of your back. <laughs> I know. Let's uh, let's do that an homage great. to Alien and to what? They Live. And what's so weird is, is the effects on that looked good, man. There were practical effects and shit. And then for like this, the CG effects, like the the critter, um, the bat thing on the planet. And I can't remember something else. I was like, God damn, that looks horrible. Um, hey, Kefki, how was your surgery? I'm sorry, I just said, noticed that Kefki was in the thing. Um, but yeah, what do you, what's your take? Hello? Who? Uh, Ray or me? Both y'all. Well, I liked how the, he was doing that sort of like robot interpretive mime like disfigurement body movement I think you can make an elbow bend that way eh. I really I really liked the secondary AI that they found I thought this is just the all this is Thor's hammer or Superman or whatever you want to call it this is our get out of jail free card and it's gonna make it to a second season. Oh yeah. Maybe a little. <laughs> well, by the way, you found an AI that speaks your language and can somehow pick up radio, radio waves uh, from seventy light years away. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that is um, uh, is going to help you for some reason against these people who well did they I, even bring I, the AI with them or did it get like melted on the planet where the Death Star fleet showed up yeah, I don't think they took the it with them I think they just left it so basically the two bug-eyed monsters that we've the bug-eyed bat people right that one of them was brain bugged and the other one was like hiding out and then their AI companion which is basically like lost his face for bug-eyed people Right. And then they yeah. just left him on the planet. These, this, you know, it's like they go on this journey. They've never found aliens, so they go to a planet filled with trees, you know, because you know budget. So they find proof of aliens there. Then they find another species of alien, and then an AI. And it's like, well, you know, why don't you want to come with us? Because you know, we'll convert you to Christianity and show you to our queen. Exactly. I would, I would, I totally agree with that. You know, because it's like, and they, they regret not doing that later. You know. <laughs> you know, and, and one of the, you know the exterior, the the space shots were were not bad. The effects were pretty good on that too. I thought. Um, Did anyone else notice that they were going in and out on sound and space? Like half the time it was like no yeah. sound in space, mm -hmm. and then one time there was just like the ship going by and a whoosh. Yeah, it was right, like that aerodynamics. Mix. Yeah, the audio the audio mix on it was actually decent. I thought with the um the the three dimensional sculpting with the sound. Oh, it was very effective, I thought. You know. I liked how they ma dropped the hammer at the very end, making no making no uncertainty that these aliens are bad, because mm -hmm. not only did they nuke an entire planet from orbit, you know, just to be sure, they gave a little girl cancer with a sound. <laughs> no shit, man. Yeah, 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 right? Uh, no, but... They, maybe they're maybe they're not bad, but maybe they're not good though, bro. That's so deep. <laughs> maybe 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 we just gotta give them a chance. 
I told you rock and roll would kill you. Now this little girl has the can. Well, and, and they're playing the they're playing you know uh, Mama against Daddy. They're doing the divide and conquer thing with humanity, um, and uh, and they're they're <clears throat> the humanity's true saviors now are them. So um, they, is, are they going to go back to Earth and save Earth like they should, with with the weapon that they've got to save Earth with? Well, I wonder if they're like uh, run really fast and then stop laser beam would actually uh, work against those uh, Mobius. Yeah, who knows? Um, but wouldn't it also blow the planet up? Because isn't that what they were saying about it? Well, I mean, you don't aim for the planet. You aim kind of like parallel. But it's like the first weapon that you, you know, it's like, ready, aim, slam the brake. <laughs> Uh, that that's also another thing we should probably explain is that uh, the ships uh, apparently could also blow up planets when properly turned into some sort of like energy beam. Which... Now that <clears throat> go ahead. That's actually based on known physics for a number of hypothetical faster than light, like the Alcubierre drive. It's a mathematical possibility <laughs> developed. 25 years ago now mm. uh, basically put a bubble around the ship getting going really fast and that way the bubble actually is the one moving and not the ship so it doesn't go faster than light it just you know it basically skirts the rules however there's still yeah. all that stuff in front of it that you got going faster than light and as soon as you stop going that keeps going and when stuff's going that fast it's got to slow down it's got to hit other things to slow down and if it hits something it's going to hit hard oh yeah no 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 I, but <clears throat> What I'm saying is that they had no idea the ships could do this up until the AI explained it. Well, they obviously didn't see Star Wars 9 or Star Wars 8. <laughs> but, like, how incompetent do you have to be to not know what your ship can do? Don't they have a pilot? Isn't Nico the pilot? Yeah. Oh, but well, she no, sits in got, the crow's got, nest. Right, well, there's that beach um, <laughs> that beach um, and then that that uh, that black chick with the short blonde hair. Yeah, the engineer, the one that's using a They're fucking monkey wrench everywhere for no apparent reason. Yeah. <laughs> She's literally wrench lady. She just shows up and goes, crank, 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 okay, that works now, and then walks off. Like... <laughs> well, here's something that really... No, I, I noticed right away is okay they've got the ability to travel faster than light but they did later imply that this ship was maybe the first one that could go that fast so you know there should be more than just this one crew more than just this one ship but they never flat out said this is the only ship that can go faster than light and they have artificial gravity technology they got this big spinning section on the model but they don't actually need it because they have you know, artificial gravity that they never explain, but you know, it's there. <laughs> yeah, they've yeah. got uh -huh. AI and all these. Uh, they got these drones that they use a little bit, but they don't use drones on the ships. Mm. Yeah, and, and the way that the ship breaks apart, right? Um, th there's that too, man. It was well, that's because they weren't. They were done fighting the big monster. Oh no, that was a Japanese <laughs> ship. It, it didn't make sense. You know? Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I I find it totally believable that all of a sudden, now that your ship's uh, traveled close to a sun, there's just lightning inside of it for no reason. Well, actually, a, you know, there would be a lot a lot of electrical discharge because a sun is just a big old ball of plasma. But if you're getting yeah. that close, why the hell aren't you melting or crushing? Well, you'd have to hit the star to crush, but still. Yeah, that's true. There's so many questions and no fucking answers. And all right, and then there's this deal. If we've got this kind of technology, how did those fucking how did the fucking thing get on the planet to begin with? You were watching a Twitter feed of uh, what's her face? <laughs> Harper. Hi my harpies. That would be the way that the human race dies, though. It's just, we were all watching a Twitter feed, and then something happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all the history books say. We were, we were looking at Twitter. We were looking at Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. Man. So what else can we say about this here show? 
it still was kind of entertaining. I yeah. I, I mean, I, I didn't want to stop watching. I wanted to see how it came through. I, I just said, okay, look, the writers just the writers just didn't think this stuff through. But at least they got better with the drama. The drama did get better after the first. Time. <laughs> creating conflict between you know I mean yeah 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 <clears throat> I thought it was fun uh, look all, all all I can say is take your mask off faggot <laughs> oh, not once but twice in the series come on come on that that's just a great that's a great meme based off this series alone just walking out onto a planet that has life. You can see it has life. Right. And just being like, take your mask off, bro. <laughs> yeah. The doctor tells them that. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's perfectly fine. You can breathe the air. It's all you need. Yeah. And then you get, you know, you get hot boxed by the jungle. Yeah. Or you bring back a fucking airborne pathogen that uh, tries to rip your fucking spine out. <laughs> we should call that the John Carpenter virus. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. The carpenter, the carpenter virus. Um. So, the, I, I guess we should do the reveal then, right, guys? Go the, for it. The end of the series here. It follows one of sci-fi's greatest tropes about aliens. They went ahead and went with the brain parasite. That's right. The giant crystal dick gives you brain parasites. Yeah, but it, but it's not a parasite. It's it that's tech. Okay, the little spider. It's more like okay. a low jack. Sorry. Yeah. 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 A low jack. Exactly. My bad. Exactly. It's sa same difference. It looks like a bug. <laughs> yeah. It does. It okay. Looks so like, like imagine the face hugger from Alien, but like on a diet. And partly made out of metal, and instead of your face, it hugs your brain. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Crawls up and, to your uh, nose and uh, gets in your brain. That's uh, and they manage to also uh, re-tech one somehow, and bring oh. back to life. Uh, what what was his name? Uh, I think it was H. Javier. Something. Javier. 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 French one. <laughs> yeah. They, they bring back Javier, and now everything's cool, uh, even though his brain melted. <laughs> well, it's okay, you know, the uh, the the rapist AI, uh, well, was he a rape? Would you count him as a rapist? Um, he basically, he uh, hijacked the load. Yeah, he took the, uh, with his, uh, the cables that came out of his eyes into the other dude's eyes, which looked horrible. No, that was the politician. Oh, okay. I was thinking about the AI that pretended to be Captain Starbuck's husband. Oh, yeah. I don't know who took advantage of who there, but she's like, okay, that never happened. Official order, delete the last 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, thank you for saying 10. Yeah, there was this whole flip on the Me Too thing um, that uh, if you're looking for it, you'll see it. You know, it's like, it, it, they don't really, you know, they really don't do a lot of more fagging, I'm thinking this. It, you know, I've, I've seen worse. So it's, it's more like a, this is a, a hot uh, space-born soap opera in space. Space-born in yeah, space. Yeah, this is, this is <laughs> totally the kind of sci-fi show you want to watch at 3 in the morning with your pants off and a bottle of cocoa butter ready to go. Damn skippy. Next but, week, but no Will tits. Zane hook up with the big bearded guy. <laughs> so you can always watch True Blood, man. And it would always be tits in that in that series, man. That was a good series for tits. Just saying. True blood. <laughs> I'll rate blast from the past. <laughs> oh, uh, man. So. But, yeah, so what would you rate this out of ten? Six and a half, maybe. Okay. Depending on, it would get... And the first few episodes were like four, but then you get to the end, you get a few sixes, a six and a half. Awesome. Uh, and you are right? Uh, like I said, the tits would have pulled it out of a five. So, <laughs> <laughs> five. You know, it's, it's one of those, man, if I'm bored, I might watch 
an episode or two again. But that's pretty much, this is pretty much just fucking fast food. You know, you eat it, you shed it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I would agree. This goes in my junk food category. Mm. And and because it's in my junk food category, uh, as, as an actual show, I would give it probably a 4 out of 10. But... In junk food category, this is a solid 8 out of 10. Mm. And I would recommend it to all of you. Go watch this show. <laughs> yes, it's definitely <laughs> bad for you if you're if you're looking to be, like, uh, intellectually entertained. And, and if you're, like, yeah. looking for, like, a, just, like, a what-the-fuck kind of thrill, it, that's this is it. This is – take some shrooms. Yep. <laughs> watch this shit. Yeah. Smoke a bowl. Have a drink. Get fucked up. Sit man. back with the kids and just yeah. go, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Get high on some alien opium. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> what, are, what are they doing? <laughs> Officer. It's just oregano. Is it Uh-oh. Earth oregano or Alpha Centauri oregano? <laughs> I plead the. Uh oh. Fuck me in both ends. Oh, God. Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's have a water fight on the ship, guys. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's our hydrogen fuel. No, no, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, you, you're wasting resources. Great. F for F for the 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 screwdriver that uh, saved the off switches for the cooling system. <laughs> when he like just, when they left Captain Starbuck outside. <laughs> oh, for God, here you go. We're right here again. <laughs> 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 I I really feel like this could have actually been better had they taken the seriousness out of it and and played it like this was the office. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where uh like Archer where, 1999 there, done right? Well, you know there's there is the, the Orville which is gets consistently good reviews from people that I oh, re- yeah. reports from people that I I've, I haven't really watched it yet. But um, everybody's saying that it's really good and it's funny as fuck. And it is. Season three on Hulu this uh, this fall. Fuck yeah. Yep. So there's that. Um, and, and The Expanse season three is coming out sometime on uh, Amazon. Season four. Season, yeah, season four. My bad. You're right. Yeah. Um, d- plus, if you're if you're into the books, uh, I believe book seven just came out. Yeah, it just came out. Um it's called Heimat. Uh, I can't remember. I, I've got it somewhere. Uh, and uh, the 16th of this month, Mindhunter Season 2 drops. Um, I definitely would like to, to, to talk about that at some point. Um, so, Brian? You got, um, you got an idea about next week? I thought we were going to do The Boys, weren't we? That's right. Oh, that's right. My bad. The Boys. Yeah. Another yeah. great show. Yeah. So, well, we, we don't want to give it away. We don't give it away. You guys got to watch it. But yeah. I am going to say, just a little teaser so that you guys uh, may want to watch this. The uh, beginning of the show, a character gets run through by a superhero and turns into goo. Yeah. <laughs> she had a blast. <laughs> she had a blast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's fucking vaporized in the her wind. Ass, except her two <laughs> yeah. hands, you know, her two hands uh-huh. are left. That's well, she right. was always giving her boyfriend a hand anyways. I mean, it's a fitting yeah, I know, right? right. <laughs> so uh, go watch it. It's free on your Amazon Prime. Prime. Prime, Prime. the hymen. That thing um, you have to have to live life nowadays. That's what Brittany calls jacking off. Prime and the hymen. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Ooh, I didn't say that. Uh. Thug life, fam. Thug life. On that note, everybody, y'all have a great week. Uh, um, uh, Sasquatch, man, Squatch. I mean, uh, thank you for joining us for this. Um, You know, it's like uh, well, you know, we do this. We try to do this every week. So, um, and if you're current with the, you know, we're just not here to sit here and talk about anything. You know, we don't want to talk about like Seinfeld or anything. We're here to talk about, you know, something. And if you've seen it, man, and you got input, come on in. All right. That's, that's, yeah, absolutely. That's that's the way we do this time. 
right? Uh huh. Brian, you got anything coming up? Silly, silly, silly. I do not. I have slowed production down dramatically because uh, I don't really have a place to do it right now. Yeah, that I dubs not help with that. <laughs> We're not, uh, not going to talk about that. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, no, no, I, I, I that wasn't me. <laughs> I, I know, I didn't know. I, I was just playing, messing with you. Um, Cream Stream Friday night, um, Sunday. I'll be talking with uh, none other than Zell uh, of uh, Zell's Zellage. So uh, we should have an interesting conversation there. Um, and on that note, uh, like Brian says, bye thug fam, life, fam, thug life, love y'all. Later, taters. <laughs>